Hey everyone, it's Kathy Zilski. Welcome back to my channel and the craft slash dining room. Today's card project features a cool die and a greeting and it's all designed to celebrate teachers. Teachers are the hardest working group of people that I know. I'm married to one. Works his little tushka off. And it is so small too. He never gains weight. This video also ran over on the Simon Says Stamp YouTube channel, but I wanted to share it here with you. And it's not the first time I've used this die and stamp set, so I'll be sure to make sure I pop a link up on one side so that if you want to check out that other card. But for this card, stick around to see my simple card to celebrate teachers coming up next. Today, I'm going to share the sweetest little card designed to give some teachers the love. So let's jump in and take a look at the products I'm using today. I've got this really cool A plus die and it is really big. Cuts out a big A plus, cuts out a big shadow layer. And this could be used for anyone who you just want to tell is doing a great job. I love this big die. And then I've also got a little series of distress inks because I'm going to paint a simple rainbow for my die cut. I've got some Tim Holtz watercolor cardstock and I've also got a stamp set that I'll be using to stamp my greeting and probably something for the inside of the card as well. Those are the basics, so let's begin with the process. I've pulled out my Art Impressions palette, and what I'm going to do is just smush down all of my colors onto the palette before I start to paint. I've got my paintbrush here. It's a number 8 Zen Royal and Langnickel. And I've got some clean water and another jar of clean water off camera. The idea here is to paint an area that will encompass the die cut. So all I'm going to do is pick up a little water, clean my brush, bring in the next color in the rainbow, because this is just a basic rainbow order. The thing that's nice about this, it's such a fun way to use any dye inks that you have. You just smush them down, pick them up with a little water, and you can keep going back in and pumping up the color until you get it to look exactly how you want it. And you want to keep bringing your dye back in just to make sure that you've got enough color. And in between the layers of color, I'll bring in my heated tool just to hasten the drying a little bit. And then I'm going back to my palette, adding a little more Distress ink to the palette, picking up a bit more color again, just to get it pumped up to get that right amount of saturation. Then once it's dry, I'll cut that out over at my die cut machine. So here, I'll pop it on the plates and run it through my Gemini Junior. And I wanted to show you, I have this cool little rotating design board. It actually comes with a clip on it, but I just take the clip off and it is wonderful for using without having to move my Gemini. I just rotate it around. So clever. There's the first cut. And while I'm over here, I'm gonna take a piece of Nina Solar White Classic Crest in the 110 pound and go ahead and cut the shadow layer. I'll also cut another couple layers of the A plus so that I can build up some dimension for my card. It looks so good. While I was here, I had an idea. I'm setting up an embossing sandwich for my Gemini. So I've got a plate, a magnetic plate or shim, my embossing mat, and I grabbed this star stencil to put over a panel that I trimmed down to be three and three quarters by five. Then I'm going to put on a plate that has one of the green adapter plates on it and run this through. I thought this would be a cool way to add some texture to the card without becoming too busy or ostentatious. I absolutely love dry embossing. This is the first time I've really done it with my Gemini. And look at the cool star pattern embossed. Next, I'm going to add some spray adhesive to the backs of my die cuts. I'll just spray these in a little box that I use for such a thing, get a nice light coating, and then I can pick up each one and layer them together for some wonderful dimension for the A+. And get that lined up. And the layers that I've cut here are also in the 110 pound Nina Solar White Classic Crest. So it's very substantial and sturdy. And it's gonna look great on the card. We'll wiggle that into place. Get that nicely lined up and press. Next, I'll take some liquid adhesive here and just swirl it around on the back of the stacked die cuts. Sometimes I like liquid for this because liquid does have a bit more wiggle room before you commit to where it sticks. 
And once I get that in place, again, press down with the brick and let that adhere. Isn't that cute? Oh, I love the bands of color. So good. All right, I'm gonna stamp a greeting now. And I thought just having, we are so grateful for you, and I'm stamping this on some Simon Says Stamp Fog cardstock. I'll powder up with my powder tool to remove static and oil, add my Versamark embossing ink, and stamp it down. Just gonna give it a nice light press. I don't wanna smoosh that greeting down too hard. Let the ink transfer, and now we're ready for powder. I'm going to be using my Simon Says Stamp Fine Detail White Powder, kind of my go-to powder lately. Tap off the excess, get a little bit more on, and tap off. Oh, this is gonna look so nice on the fog. Then I'll just quickly take my folded piece of paper and funnel my powder back into the jar. I've got my heat tool warmed up. I'll bring it to the paper and melt the powder. Looks great. I'll get the coordinating die taped into place and I'll cut that out on the Gemini off camera. I'm gonna prep my card base and I thought it would be cute to do this on fog as well. So this will be a USA 2 top folding. This is a half sheet of eight and a half by 11. So this is 11 by four and a quarter, folding down to be four and a quarter wide by five and a half inches tall. I put foam tape on the back of the dry embossed star pattern and then I've got foam tape on the back of the A+. So this is getting all the dimension, right? Putting my liquid again onto the foam just so we get that wonderful bit of playtime before I commit to the placement. Just wanted to make sure this was perfectly straight, so I grabbed my Misty T-square, brought that in just to check that slab serif of the A. It looked good. And I've got thin foam squares that I cut in half on the back of the subgreeting. Again, putting a little glue on that and just so I can wiggle it over ever so slightly to have that centered on the panel. So simple, right? Well, gotta have some shine, so sequins, boop. Just a few here to accent the design, boop. And oh, there, there, yeah, I think right there. And boop. Love my little embellishment wand here. Little glue little glue and boop, just like that. And that is the finished card project. Look at the cool embossed texture and stars are perfect for something like this, right? It's a teacher. Now, you made the card, let's do something nice for the inside and I thought that greeting would look great. I'll pick it up with the block and I pulled out my make art station because this is what I like to do if I'm block stamping with something which I like to call free range stamping aka not stamping with my Misty, but the magnets hold everything open and the surface is nice and firm to stamp on. And so we'll ink up the stamp with the black ink, line it up. Actually, the magnets had to come out. There we go. Line that block up right in the center of the panel and press. I'm getting better at the free range stamping and this turned out great. And there's the greeting on the inside. I think any teacher would be happy to receive this card. Maybe I'll give this one to my elementary school teacher husband. You can find all the links to the supplies for this card project below the video in the description box. Thanks so much for watching today. I would love to have you become a subscriber to my YouTube channel. And if you do subscribe, be sure to hit the gray bell below the video so that you don't miss the next time I post. Here are a couple other videos that you might be interested in watching. Thanks so much and have a great day.